Now that you've hemmed the main outer fabric and the soft back lining, it's time to join these two layers of fabric together. Lay the main fabric out with the right side facing up. You'll then put the soft back lining on top with the fluffy side facing up so that the soft side touches the right side of the fabric. You're going to pin the side edges together but you need to measure three centimetres down from the top edge of the fabric before you start pinning it in place. This is to allow for a seam allowance at the top. Continue pinning along both sides of each curtain before you sew it with the sewing machine. Sew the side edges of the curtain with a one and a half centimetre seam allowance. Once you've sewn both sides of the curtain, you'll have effectively created a big tube of fabric, so you'll have to turn that inside out. This will hide all of the raw edges along the side of your curtain. You'll now have to press this in place using an iron and an ironing board. We now have to press this border in place on the back of the curtain and it should measure three and a half centimetres. Before you attach the heading tape to the top of the curtain, you'll have to hand tack this lining in place so it's not visible once you hang the curtains up. You'll have to make sure that the top edge of the soft back lining sits where the crease is on the main fabric. At the corner, fold the fabric over so that it hides the raw edges. Do a few loose stitches to secure the thread and then tack in place along the top of the curtain and these stitches will be removed later. Keep checking that the soft back lining hasn't fallen down and that the top edge is sitting right up in the crease as you move along. We're now going to attach the curtain heading tape to the top of the curtain and this is how your curtain will hang up once it's finished. It's got a series of strings and that's what will gather the curtain up to give it those lovely folds and it's also got sets of loops. It's really important that when you fold the edge of the curtain tape over, you've got a line of loops at the edge of your curtain. You'll then pin the tape in place all the way along the top. Always cut the curtain heading tape longer than what you think you'll need. Fold it back to make sure that there's a line of loops right at the edge of the curtain and then pin it in place to secure it. You'll notice that there's a bit of excess so you'll have to just create little folds to make it lie flat. You're now ready to sew two lines of stitching at either edge of the curtain tape with the sewing machine. Now that the curtains are almost finished, join me in part five where we'll finish off the bottom corners and hang them up.